father also died a very tragic death and dealt with addiction yes and um you know you also got to see the very dark sides of professional sports and what it was like um to be a black man in baseball and and yes. i wanted to hear you know growing up with a keen understanding of the pitfalls um in the worst way possible and seeing who shows up for the funeral and who's there yes. um you know how, what impact that had on you well, it's huge. You know, I always say this. My life really began where my dad's ended, you know, and it's crazy. I remember the funeral like it was yesterday. And, you know, it's it's for me, it, it's crazy because, you know, you kind of take you take a step back. And as a three, four, I was turning four years old, you know, and then you start to kind of piece things together. You don't look at life the way that most people look at life. And like you had mentioned, you know, in terms of people who showed up at his funeral even, and you know, my dad, he died from AIDS. So in 1991, it was January of 1991. This was 10 months before Magic even made his announcement. I mean, the world was such a different place. And so I think that, you know, I definitely did see things differently. I definitely had a different type of a purpose about the way that I that I chose to continue my life and it really took a huge it, it, it really set a foundation for me as I played and I remember just feeling different from other kids because it's just like I feel like I had this knowledge and I had this understanding of life you know and I just I saw I remember they didn't want us to see it but I went we went my brother my sister and I and we went to the, the casket, and I remember going to the casket, peering at him, and looking at his casket, and just being like, whoa, like, game over. You know, and he was like 70 pounds, and he was covered with lesions, and I just remember just seeing death, and just looking at it, and just being like, wow, like, just understanding that it's life is much more deeper than, than I could ever imagine.